I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET and I'm here with the Sony Xperia Z2 tablet. It's a 10.1 inch Android slate measuring a ridiculous 6.4 millimeters thick, but it still packs in some seriously powerful tech. Pick the Z2 up and you'll immediately be struck by how skinny this thing actually is. It feels much more like you're grabbing a thin pamphlet than a tablet, something helped by its light weight. 10.1 inch display means it's quite wide, but that's made much worse by having such huge bezels around the screen. I mean, sure, wide bezels give you something to hold, but this is just needlessly wasted space that makes a screen look all squashed in. On the plus side, the screen is bright, crisp, and it has great colors. And you can customize the color balance if you prefer things to look a bit warmer. Like its predecessor, the Z2 tablet is completely waterproof, which not only keeps it safe from spilled drinks, but it also means you can happily prop it up in your kitchen while cooking, safe in the knowledge that you can rinse it under the tap when it inevitably gets covered in sauce. Inside, it's running a 2.3 GHz quad-core processor, which gave some excellent results in my benchmark tests. It's easily handled high-definition gaming and video streaming, and navigating around the Android 4.4.2 KitKat interface was a breeze. Sony has squashed a 6,000 mAh battery into the skinny body, which I found to be something of a mixed bag. On the plus side, it kept going on my video drain test for over 12 hours, putting it right alongside the iPad Air. On the downside, the battery drained away quickly in standby mode, and it used so much power when gaming that it lost charge even when it was plugged in. The drain test shows that the battery is very capable, so I'm more tempted to blame the software for the odd performance issues. Fingers crossed this is something that Sony can fix in a software update. Although the battery is a slight concern, the Xperia Z2 tablet is still a great looking powerful slate. If you're after a 10 inch tablet and don't fancy giving Apple your money, or if you're just very clumsy around water, it's definitely worth checking out. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET and this is a Sony Xperia Z2 tablet.